Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very cool reading for you guys. I hope you guys are all well and Sagittarius. If you, you would like your own free five minute psychic reading, the link is below. That's with Mystic Sense. Click on the link and all the information is there for you. If you would like your own reading with me, you may have one of those. Please see the About tab on my YouTube page. Yes. So let's see what else we have, you guys. And, uh, we, you know, Sagittarius, you have a new beginning in this reading. I feel like you do. And uh, we have uh, the axe pick, and this talks about something good is coming for you. There was some type of... Uh, there's some type of kind of a struggle here to make this happen. It's possible with the miner's pickaxe. And we also have the ace of spades. And this is uh, the Appalachian deck here, Conjure. This talks about an ending. This is the death card in this particular reading. So we're going to put your person's cards out today. And uh, the princess of gems is here. The same thing as the pentacles. And this is somebody who who is very earthy here and they're coming to like create something tangible with you. That's what you have. And, uh, this person, they could be wealthy. They, maybe they like to work with their hands. Uh, but this is uh, a, a really cool energy. And then the porcupine is here and it talks about somebody who's defending themselves honorably without hurting somebody else. And so we see the death card here and we have the eye, and this is trusting your intuition could be seeking answers, but, uh, somebody has answers. They already know what they want in this reading. This isn't about like trying to make a decision. No, not at all. Uh, but it is about kind of watching, kind of watching the way things go, things like that. And we have the child and the high honor card. So this is a new beginning. The child it is, uh, maybe there's, you know, maybe somebody has a child here, but, uh, in this reading, it is, uh, mainly a, a new beginning uh, because somebody wants one with you basically. And the high honor card is here. And this is talking about somebody who like places you high above. It's also possible somebody has a child here and they are, you know, being a good parent. It could definitely be right. Why not? Uh, we need good parents. Yeah, we certainly do. Right. Because they make good kids and good adults. Right. So, I'm putting your cards down, Sagittarius, as we speak, and your person uh, kind of put theirs down first for, for whatever reason. They have uh, three major arcanas, and uh, yeah, it's kind of a big reading for them, a bigger bigger for them than it is for you, because you don't have a major here. No, you don't. Uh, not saying you don't have any good cards, uh, and yeah, mm -hmm. and so your person... Their challenge here is the queen of swords reversed. It looks like somebody's angry in this reading. It's possible. I mean, it could be, uh, it's possible that this is, you know, an air sign, right? Who's kind of in the reverse. It's also, uh, the queen of swords reverse also can be somebody who is just, they already know, they already kind of figured out what they want. It can be right. She's, uh, she's done with the discerning. Sometimes it's that. Uh, but I feel like there's an ending here and somebody's angry. The 10 of swords is in your, is in your energy here. So, you know, this is your fear or your doubt, like an ending's not going to happen or that because you want a new beginning with somebody, because the reading is really about a new beginning. I, the high honor card can, uh, it can talk about a new beginning. Um, and it can also, uh, yeah, it can. And then we have somebody here, this, uh, princess of gems who is coming basically to have a new beginning with you. Yeah, this is what this is about. This is somebody who is somebody who really kind of wants to do, do good. They want to do, uh, she's kind of wearing her bathing suit here. I don't really want to show that here because of, you know, but it's somebody who wants to really kind of do good, like bring something nice and be, be genuine. That's really what it is because you know, it's an earth energy and earth energy is something you can feel and touch. So we, we can say that, you know, this is genuine. We can, because, uh, just like the, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is supposed to be kind of earnest, right? He is, he's supposed to be kind of earnest, which is kind of honest. So there is some type of very kind of like, Oh, I want to do, I want to do, I want to have something nice. I want to create something with integrity and kind of, you know, 
uh, yeah, and let's make it good from the beginning and let's not mess it up. It's that kind of energy in this reading. Yeah, I feel like it is. So your challenge, Sagittarius, is uh, the queen, uh, the, uh, the six of cups. So these kids are returning to their father there, and I feel like you want somebody to return to you. That is your challenge. Your person's challenge could be a block, right? But uh, we, we don't, you know, sometimes that's extreme, a block, it could, you know. But this Queen of Swords in their challenge here next to the Hierophant, your person's possible you're waiting for somebody who's married. And that's okay, Sagittarius, because, you know, we don't, we're, we're not the judge. We're not God over here. No, we're not. <laughs> Besides, you kind of always have to know far more details about somebody's situation before you uh, jump, right? Before you judge, right? Can't judge somebody by how they look, uh, what they wear. Uh, you can't, really. No. I mean, now if they know a bunch of hoodies, then uh, they might be a hoodie, right, Sagittarius? Yeah. And uh, you have the Queen of Swords, too, and this is uh, what's unknown to you. So she's over here twirling the, uh, the butterfly. So you're unsure if you're going to have a new beginning with somebody, Sagittarius. You are. You're unsure here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like this person is unsure if they can recover this with you. Four of swords in their unknown energy. So here you are hoping, Sagittarius, for a new beginning. You have the three of wands. This is about your future. Your fear is a ten of swords. So maybe you think this is going to end for you. But I feel like you are... Uh, you know, you want, you want this, like you want a new beginning with somebody here. Uh, and I feel like there could be somebody being hurt here, but I don't believe this is you because of the porcupine. So if this person is indeed ending something with the ace of spades here, which is really, uh, an empty baby's cradle. And this is, you know, uh, Appalachian divination. So, you know, uh, that is how they see uh, a death, right? But that is one way for them to kind of, uh, you know, kind of, uh, represent a death. But, uh, if there's a death here, somebody is kind of, they don't want to hurt somebody. They just want to leave because that's what the porcupine talks about. Right. I just kind of want to defend myself with all these pokies here. Right. And, uh, what do you call those? I don't, I don't I'm not, I forget, I forget the name of that, but, uh, you know, the porcupine just wants to protect themselves. They're not trying to hurt anybody. I don't feel like they are right No. And, uh, mm -hmm. and here you are, what's on your mind is, is fighting your fears. Maybe you're worried this isn't going to happen, but you could be maybe, uh, kind of, kind of like a little concerned that this person may not fight their fears in order to come forward because it looks like there could be three people here, right? Sagittarius there could, uh, because what's on your mind as well is the page of wands. And here he walks away from a woman. He does, right? He could be walking away from, you know, from anybody it could be, you know, a woman walking away from a man. It doesn't, that's not important here, but, uh, it's a person walking from a person. Here's the page of swords. And this is what's on your mind. You're wondering here. I believe if this person's walking away from somebody, you could now on the flip side, right? Because they're general readings. You could be thinking you have to walk away from somebody yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And so your person, what's on their mind is, uh, we're not going to show Joe. Oh, the sun has a little baby here too, but your person has the here of it. This is what's on their mind. Uh, the sun card, we're going to cover the little, uh, little birthday, uh, child here, poster boy, whatever the sun card and judgment. So we know judgment has, you know, the people rising out of the rising from, uh, the dead here. And so we're going to kind of cover them. Right. But you know, this is in the reverse. This is what's on their mind. This judgment reversed with the sun, your person judgment reverse is usually an ending. It usually is in the upright. It's usually uh, a rebirth. They, they could have already made a decision here, but uh, I feel like there has definitely been a decision here, but what's on their mind here is, uh, mm -hmm, I feel like they're wondering possibly if they're going to be happy. Your person could be ending a marriage, the here of it and the, and judgment reversed. And their challenge is the queen of swords reversed. And, uh, that could be definitely somebody who's angry. It could be, let's see what else they have in their challenge for Sagittarius's person. We have the knight of cups. Mm -hmm. It could be challenging that they're just coming forward, right? And, oh, gee, I wonder if Sagittarius will have me, but 
I feel like it's there's somebody angry here. Let's see what else is in their challenge. Oh, the Knight of Swords reversed. Yeah, see, this is like somebody who's like, kind of like uh, reckless and maybe really angry. This is like, this can be aggression, right? Because in the upright, he's already real assertive. Yeah, he can be already a little aggressive in the reverse. Could be, especially with the Queen of Swords reversed, Sagittarius. So somebody here is uh, mad uh, beyond, I feel like they are in your person's challenge and they're mad about this Knight of Cups because that sits in your person's challenge as well. So your person's bringing you a cup of love. Either somebody's bringing you an offer here. They are. And what they're, this is in their hopes, the four of cups. So it looks like, or their desire, it looks like they're bored with somebody here. They could be hoping you don't reject them because this is a rejection card, right? Mm -hmm. Could be. And the Knight of Wands is their fear and their doubt, right? It doesn't always have to be exactly like fear and doubt, like per se, but that's probably you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. This person has a little bit of fear. Yeah, they do. Maybe, maybe they, they hope that maybe they're hoping you're not going to be the Queen of Swords in the reverse, Sagittarius. All right. I told you guys not to be not to be mean, remember? <laughs> I was just listening to uh somebody, uh, an astrologer, talk about uh Mars and Cancer, and this can be a, a you know, a, and you know, I know somebody who has a, a placement like that. I'm not going to say who they are, but Mars and Cancer can be kind of a passive aggressive. It could, I mean, you can talk about other things. It can talk about somebody who's like, who will fight tooth and nail for their kids or their family, right? Because Cancer's the family. Yeah. Uh, the mother, the divine mother. Let's see who we have, you guys. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. I know you guys are not passive aggressive Sagittarius, right? You guys are just like, I'm pissed off. Look, I don't need to hide it and like, and show it in another way. Right. Or, or, Hey, uh, you didn't do that right. Or kind of pick on somebody. Right. Cause we know that when people are mad at us, there's usually a, there's usually another reason. Right. Or they're just like picking a fight. You're like, what? You really you're mad about that? I don't think so. Right. So what you're hoping for Sagittarius, uh, or what they're hoping for, I beg your pardon. They're hoping that you're going to put the work in with them. They're hoping that you're going to help build with them. You're going to be inspired. Yeah, this is what they're doing. They want to take action. This person wants to take action, like based on their inspiration, the eight of pentacles, right? This guy's loving his job. Mm -hmm. This could be saying they want to do really well with you too. But I feel like this is mostly about like, in the bigger picture, like in a more general sense, right? It's a general reading. So I have to be a little bit more general here, but, uh, you know, this person just is taking action. That's it. And in their unknown is help Sagittarius. I don't know if you'll want me back, right? Here's the four of swords. <laughs> this is in their unknown, not really their fear, but you know, <clears throat> that talks about, gee, <clears throat> it's unknown. Can I, can I kind of recover this or revitalize it or heal it with Sagittarius? And we have the three of pentacles. Yeah. So here they are, you know, wondering this, this is very unknown to them. They could have had you in a third party right here because here's a 10 of swords in your energy here. They could have definitely had you in a third party, but this could be too. It's unknown. If I could work things out with Sagittarius, right? It's really unknown. Yeah. Let's get one more card on there. Unknown, right? We want to, we want to know all the, uh, the hanged man. And this is reversed. Mm-hmm. You know, this hangman reverse, they could have sacrificed somebody here. They definitely could. We have the death card. Uh, and they look like they're trying not to hurt somebody here as they end something and as they come forward. So we're going to go to their extended Sagittarius. And uh, so your person, I pulled a few cards for them. I did. And, uh, and the first card they have for their Oracle uh, reading is make a wish. So here's your person wishing, right? Especially when they don't know. This reminds me of that song by Cher and Winona Ryder in that some movie, I forgot the name of it, but they're, you know, it's like in the sixties and they're singing that song about, you know, wishing and hoping's not going to make a man love you. Like, right. No, no, but right here, that's what your person's doing. Says you, Terry, sir, they're wishing and crossing them here is the two of cups and this, they're calling this the two of hearts. So this is challenging them. This person's, uh, wow. So we're going to see what else goes on in your person's reading. They're all super affordable. I have the link below. Also Sagittarius, uh, we're going to have a tarot spread on them. We are, and we're going to, we're going to get to the bottom of it. Sagittarius, right? We are. 
Mm -hmm. We're going to get to the heart of the matter because we're detectives, right? Yeah, we are uh, behind the scenes on Sagittarius's person. Thanks so much, you guys, for joining me here. I think, as I mentioned, the link is in the description box. They're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.